Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today we're going to talk about the book Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Whew. So much to say about this book. I can't. I'm like literally obsessed with Colleen Hoover right now. I'm reading all of her books. Like, I don't care. I'm doing it. Um, I read November 9, and now I'm currently reading um, Slammed. So, I'm stoked. But this book was like, ugh. I give it like a hundred percent. I kid you not. It is so good. I'm so glad I chose to read this one first. Um, this is a young adult fiction book, so it does have sexual scenes in it. So I'd say if you're like you're under like fourteen ish, like I wouldn't. No, you'll be scarred for life. <laughs> no, just kidding. You'll, you're gonna have high standards. Um, but literally, I love this book. And if you want to stay tuned for more information, just keep watching. Okay, so basically we have our two main characters in Ugly Love. We have um, Miles and Tate, and we basically jump back and forth with their points of views. Um, however, Miles's point of view is six years prior to where they are, um, and basically we meet Tate moving into her brother's apartment um, because she broke up with her boyfriend, I think. So she's moving in with her brother, and Miles happens to live across the hall, and they meet by him being drunk on her doorstep, and she's like, like, move out of my way. But basically, throughout the book, they have this friends with benefits sort of, um, you know, relationship without without really being friends though so because Miles is Tate's brother's friend it's like this whole I mean you just you just gotta read it I don't want to give away too much because then you uh, you just gotta read it for yourself if you're one of those that likes cutesy romantic like oh my god moments you will die if you haven't read this book yet I promise you. I'm, about, I'm gonna read it again when I'm done with all of Colleen Hoover's books. I promise you I'm gonna read it again because it was that good. And I heard they were turning it into a movie. So what? What? So yeah. Miles is a pilot. Tate is like a nurse, an ER nurse or something. Um, and um, Tate's brother is also a pilot so him and Miles are best friends and work together. And Tate just kind of like is like drawn to him like she wants him to love her so bad so she feels like she needs to have this relationship with him to get him to fall in love with her basically which kind of worked out kind of didn't i'm not gonna say too much just come back come back and we'll talk about it when you read it okay so not spoily people you leave leave now and come back come back so we can talk when you're done. Okay, so I'm assuming you guys read this book and it's about to go down in the DMs if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's start with Miles' past, okay, because I just, I have to, I have to get it out of the way. So, <sighs> Miles meets Rachel, like, in the hallway or whatever, and then in class, and he's, like, basically, like, I am this, like, you is mine, Rachel, you was gonna marry me he was gonna have my babies you know he was just like he knew he knew and she was just kind of like mm, okay okay miles i see you i see you but then the freaking they they like okay wait like uh this part like pisses me off so bad so like Miles's dad is dating someone new, and then Miles is kind of like pissed off about that because his mom like died and stuff like, like recently, but not recently, right? Like she died like a few years ago or something like that or something. I don't remember how long ago she died, but Miles is like really dad. You're already like dating someone and shit, and freaking they open the door and it's freaking Rachel and her mom and Miles and Rachel are like, what the fuck? Do they just like decided to go out with each other? And Miles is, like, shitting himself. He's like, oh, my God, this is Rachel, my chick. And his, her mom is dating my dad. And, like, what the f***? Mm -mm. I would have been so pissed. I would have been like, Mom, no, you can't be dating him. That's my future boyfriend. Like, that's my future husband. Stop. Like, come on. But, like, the fact that, like, they all move in together in the house. And then Miles lets Rachel have his room. Super cute. 
And then the fact that they just like keep having their relationship without their parents knowing. And they both stayed home from school that day. And they like told each other they loved each other. And then they were doing it everywhere. And the shower. And like, oh my god. And then the part where she gets pregnant. Like, I literally crapped myself. I was like, how is this going to go down? How is this going to go down? Like, honestly. And then, you know, she's starting to show and stuff, and they haven't even told the parents yet. The parents don't know sh Like, what kind, of, what kind of parents are these? My mom would have been known. My mom would have been like, Kristen, girl. Like, no mom, ew. <laughs> like, honestly, when, when they told the parents, everybody was shocked as shit. Dad punches Miles in the face, and I was like, that, that's real life. Somebody would have got punched. Um... And then, the, and then Rachel's mom's like freaking out and shit. And then, you know, they're just like, it's going to be okay. We're all going to be this happy family. And like, there's nothing wrong with this at all. Like, you guys, ugh. And the parents are getting married. Like, you guys are going to be stepbrother and sister. This, like, then like, you know, she's, she's getting more pregnant. And then um, they graduate high school. And then uh, they're talking about like marriage and stuff. And then um, she has the baby. And then they name him after the teacher that they had together or the teacher that walked into the class or something like that. That was really clever. Because Miles got to pick the name and that was that was that was cool. That was that was good. I liked that. <laughs> um Um when, you know, Rachel has the baby and they finally get to go home. They were so in love with the baby, like more in love with the baby than they were with each other anymore at that point. Um and they're driving home and Miles' dumbass is looking in the mirror and looking at the freaking baby and Rachel not paying attention. Like, you got a new baby. You pay attention to the road. Like, that's like texting and driving. The fuck? Like, and then he fucking drives off the bridge. Like, what? That part made me... S this Okay. The part where he drives off the bridge till the end of their relationship pisses me off because it's like you want Rachel and Miles to be together, but you really want... You really want Tay and Miles to be together, but, like, during that part, you want them to be together. Um, and I, I really did not think the baby was gonna die. Like, I thought, I didn't know, I thought they were both gonna die at first, or all of them were gonna die. Obviously, Miles lives because, you know, he wouldn't be present day with Tate. But, like, I really thought Rachel and um, the baby were gonna die, and that's why he's so messed up, but fact that Rachel was like, I can't love you anymore. You killed the baby. You should have let me die. Like, that. No. No. If I was her, I would still love Miles. I'd be like, let's just have another baby. No, I'm just kidding. But, like, that was really sad. And then she, like, moves back to Arizona or wherever she's from with the mom. And then, um, so that's why, you know, Miles is all messed up. So sad. I mean, I would be messed up too, because that's horrifying. But then, here we are with Tate and Miles, present day, and Tate basically is with Miles to get him to fall in love with her, and that's her goal in life. <laughs> Since I was dying when, you know, the first time they make out in Thanksgiving in their parents' house in the kitchen, and then the dad comes and is, like, watching them, I was dead. I was like... This is hilarious. <laughs> I felt just as embarrassed as they did, like, reading it. Oh, and when they do it in the car, that was, like, so... That was, like, romantic but weird. Like, nobody really sees you doing it in the car in the rain during the day. The police would have been called. Just saying. About how, like, reading how seamy it was. Just saying. And, like, the fact that he, like says things without thinking that's how you know he like loves her like like all the sweet things he was saying to her was like that was like confusing her and she, like that's how you know he really felt for her and i was just like yes miles just let it happen and then um the whole plane accident thing and everybody was freaking out like oh my god please don't let that be my brother please don't let that be miles like tate was just like freaking out. but luckily it was nobody that she knew um, that got her, Miles is fine, but then she was all sad because nobody was checking on Miles and everybody was checking on her brother, and so, um, 
Finally, Miles' dad calls in, and then she's like, oh, someone does care about you. <laughs> um, when he leaves her on the table, I was like, oh, no. I would have been done right then and there. Like, you don't do that. Mm -mm, that is rude. That is inconsiderate AF. Ah, <sighs> inconsiderate. But, you know, when he, like, meets up with Rachel at the end and he sees that she is, like, remarried and happy with a new baby, that was, that was messed up, kind of, because she named, she had a girl this time, and she named it the same name she would have named it if Miles and her were to have a baby, like, I have a girl. She named it the same with her new husband. I thought that was so hurtful. I would have, like, died. Ugh. To, like, move on and be happy and not be able to think about all the bad things he, he's been through with, when he's with Tate. And then he tells her all that and everything that really happened. And then they fall in love. And then for real this time. And then they get together. And then they're happy. And then you get to see them, like, a year later. And he proposes, and then they have a baby. And the whole, oh my gosh, the doorman. What's it, or what was he? Was he the doorman? Sam? Sam. Sam, Sam, the doorman. Huh? He was such, I loved him. He was such a good character. Like, I could just, like, picture them together. And that's what they named their, their daughter, Sam, after him. And oh, that was just so cute. Like, their, Tate and um, Sam's relationship the whole time was just, like, it was like her best friend, an old man that she was telling everything to about Miles. And he secretly knew Miles his whole life. That was crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the book. And yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm weird. And my hair is literally driving me nuts. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to go finish Slammed. So I will see you guys in my next video, whatever it may be. I don't even know yet. So, yeah, bye. Okay, bye.